I've always been someone who's been lucky enough to have access to the best healthcare. I saw doctors regularly, I went for regular gynecological checkups, and I was told that I'm just someone who has cramps with their period. I knew I would get them because my mother told me she had them, and they were very painful for her. Pain, numbness, but no one really said the word endometriosis to me until I met Dr. Sechkin. Endometriosis is probably the least researched subject in women's healthcare in America. It was scary because he also told me that my fertility was at grave danger. About 50% of infertility is associated with endometriosis. We are diagnosing the disease so late in the game that these women end up having terribly lowered quality of life. Presently, the treatment of endometriosis surgery, which is invasive, costly, and usually very late. My surgery took four and a half hours, and I was bedridden from Thanksgiving to the first week of February. I wanted to turn my pain into something positive. So we started the Endometriosis Foundation of America, and the goals of the EFA are public awareness, patient advocacy, and research. Without research, we're just flailing in the dark. This is a disease that we can understand. It just has not had the kind of sustained attention in terms of basic research that many other common diseases have. No institution in the world will match the quality of research that will be done at Feinstein Institute. Research is the process of creating the future. Feinstein Institute is the home for research in the North Shore LIJ health system. It's home to some 2,500 people who do clinical trials across the health system or run the 55 laboratories in the Building. Our commitment is extraordinary in terms of what we do with regard to research. We have, for example, about 15,000 people in clinical trials. That's one of the largest in the United States. Our scientific leadership is unparalleled from molecular genetics to inflammation to autoimmune diseases. Well, Dr. Sechkin uh, came to visit me and we started talking about what the possible causes of endometriosis could be and I got very intrigued with a type of cell in the lining of the uterus. Dr. Peter Gregerson is an internationally renowned leader in molecular genetics. I was very excited when somebody of the reputation of Dr. Gregerson was interested in endometriosis. Dr. Gregerson is a gift to a cause like endometriosis. I think the history will be rewritten with his work. My interaction with Dr. Sechkin is a perfect example of why the Feinstein works. Dr. Sechkin has started a foundation which has been kind enough to support us here. Our partnership of Endometriosis Foundation of America with Feinstein Institute will make a difference in the future care of endometriosis. The Feinstein Institute will be producing cures based on the knowledge that we're producing today. These cures, in some form, may be pills or injections, but in other forms, may be small implanted electronic devices that control the activity of nerves for the benefit of our patients. My most gratifying moments are receiving a phone call saying that someone is pregnant. After starting the foundation in April of 2009, I found out I was pregnant. I'm feeling great today. And I'm so thankful that we'll be able to use what happened to me to help do the research we need to find how to alleviate this disease and other diseases like it. With good research, we're finding that we can prevent some type of ovarian cancers with early intervention and removing the disease. There has never been a more important time to support research than today. The steps we need to make to move forward towards cures require philanthropy. Without that, we will not succeed. It requires a family effort, the health system itself, the researchers of Feinstein, the donor community, the public at large, the people who actually volunteer to be part of clinical trials, working in a, a holistic, synergistic way to promote the discovery of new cures. There are wonderfully philanthropic individuals who get it. Those individuals are absolutely critical to progress. The knowledge produced here today will generate the cures that our patients will enjoy tomorrow.